Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I wanted to come on right after my workout, come on here and talk about finding the balance between pushing and taking it easy or preserving. There is a balance between the two and there is a time and place for both of them. I have a lot of, I have created quite a bit of content uh, that is strong and also I have created some videos that urge you or many videos that urge you to take it easy. There is a balance. We, I don't believe in pushing yourself past the point of pleasure. Pleasure to me is in fitness and in the health world is a guiding force except <laughs> there's always 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 exceptions except uh, when you are having to heal from something when it's too late and there is this is this is then maybe it's not as pleasurable the thing that we have to do say fasting or a certain restriction um, maybe it's not as pleasurable anymore but that's because we've been ignoring those signals when they were coming so once we ignore it for long enough and it becomes too late then we're forced to do the right thing and maybe we won't be happy while we are doing it but the results will be good if we follow our intuition and before we begin this is not sponsored but I have been a partner with Yogi Box for a long time and I just felt compelled to tell you about their new boxes because about a year ago it's been a while don't quote me on the exact time but it's been a while they revamped the whole box and I've always been a fan of theirs because they always partner with small companies, women-owned companies, US-based companies. It's always like very nice boutique products, boutique products that you will end up using. Um, I always, they are always phenomenal products, but they even as good as it was before, they outdid themselves yet again, they revamped it. I've received from them so many things that are uh, absolutely a staple of mine now. Uh, there is little, um, a little cream I received a while ago, it was like a little gel with uh, like 20 or 30 essential oils and herbs in it and it's phenomenal for healing cracks and skin issues and stuff like that and I have never discovered it had it not been for them. So the new box, I actually, behind me I have quite a few sprays that I've received from them, crown chakra in previous boxes, um, matte sprays, uh, singing bowls, um, malas, but their new box is so cool, check it out. So in the jewelry box, nowadays there is, the whole box is uh, themed live your dharma, so highest potential slash purpose, or <laughs> there is no western explanation of dharma, but you know, you get it, living your dharma. Uh, they sent me, um, those are always really good crystals for healing, you can use them on parts of the body and the thing about crystals, it is good when it's a gift, when you didn't quite choose it yourself, it found you, so that's kind of like what I get with receiving a crystal that I didn't choose, it's a surprise crystal. On top of this, they sent one for each day of the week, so there is uh, different stones for each day that you can wear, that's Tiger's Eye, you can wear depending on the day of the week. On top of it, they sent, those are oils I didn't know about and I'm in love. This one has garnet in it and it's for root chakra, so all the issues that come with root chakra imbalance, such as feeling ungrounded, loneliness, addiction, phobias, financial difficulties, lower back pain, constipation, sexual dysfunction, water retention and it's just one oil actually and it smells so good because it's cedar wood you know cedar wood it always reminds me of wet wet earth with leaves in it kind of fall smell oh it gives me a high um love sweet scent but i also love things that remind me of just kind of like hiking in nature and leaves and earth and trees and then the other box, the main, uh, the big box um, that they sent had the other oil, which is sacral, eating disorders, low self-esteem, confidence, addiction, Im unbalanced emotion, hip and pelvic pain, kidneys, kidney issues, infertility, sexual dysfunction, and 
That one is also just one oil, but with carnelian in it. Carnelian is great for women. This is sage, clary sage. That's what I was gonna do, <laughs> and then I realized, wait. <laughs> the other box has a whole booklet that you can put on your stands with the chakras, which is in, on my table. And this amazing flickering, can you tell how much it flickers? Geode and uh, Palo Santo, I'm already burning one of them and bracelets they come in those bag in these baggies in um, they're, uh, they're your be surprise uh, baggies too bracelets that can fit your foot or your baby Lodi was wearing them because they tighten there is always so many nice surprises and just things that are local companies um, small businesses and so forth now on to uh, and I'll post the, my links below. I'm, um, I've been a partner with them for probably three years now. I just love them. Uh, but I haven't talked about their Dharma boxes, which is it happened, I think, a while ago. So those are your Leave Your Dharma boxes. It's just crystals that, that find you, um, things for burning, like uh, Palo Santo, oils, etc. Crystal, it's just crystals and good stuff and singing bowls. Um, uh, finding the balance between pushing and preserving, um, you it, it's really very simple. It's really, there is no big science to it. It's just simply listening to your body. Uh, there isn't like a massive like equation and formula to apply to it. You have to listen to your body and you have to learn to honor your body. And when you see someone <laughs> running with a knee brace, this is not listening to the body. The body speaks to you sometimes quietly, sometimes loudly, but it's always something you can, it's audible. You can, you can catch it. You just need a little bit of self-care during the day, a little bit of slowing down. And sometimes you're bursting with energy. I uh, personally, and I don't think I'm an exception, but maybe we all have certain patterns. I'm sure we all do. I go through periods where my energy is so phenomenally high. I don't take days off for like say four months and it keeps going no days off strong days they fluctuate in strength always but it's it's really str strength happening and then something happens either um, i sleep or something something in my life asks me to slow down and i have to honor that immediately um i have been in a kind of a slow period which is also astrological with um all the retrograde planets because um I had a little bit of an injury. I hit uh, my pubic bone on a metal chair, but I ran into it, so it was quite painful. And I took it easy for months and months and months because I wanted to let the body heal and to just kind of figure it, reset my own, like, other part of my life, my purpose, my uh, approach to life, etc. So. You have to honor and trust that there is enough time for everything. People have this anxiety about the present moment. You have to work out today like it's not going to be tomorrow to work out. Just relax and do what's needed for today. Do what you need to do for today. And tomorrow you will need do what you need to do for tomorrow, but with a very rested you. So your tomorrow will actually be better. You perform better regardless of what you are asked to perform another rest day or another um, strong day, whatever it is, it, life fluctuates and we have to honor that. That is all. I'm just here to tell you honor the fluctuations of life and trust, trust the waves, um, trust the ebb and flow. Uh, I'm drinking ashwagandha, that's a calming herb for stress. Ashwagandha, cacao powder blended, um, in coconut milk, oh, and a, a mushroom blend from Four Sigmatic at End Mushroom Blend. Um, so that's what I'm drinking, and I'll probably make another tonic. I've been making a lot of herbal 
really powerful lattice. Maybe we'll start making them together. Wow, it's um, so cloudy outside. It it get like the lighting is fluctuating here. Uh, actually, for my classes, I'll have to bring um, just uh, indoor lighting. My class lighting because the lighting here just keeps changing it's the Texas weather uh, but basically we operate from two places fear or love and fear can manifest in anxiety stress uh, not honoring the body not listening not slowing down not not moving forward again out of fear not pushing forward sometimes we have to just take action and usually if you do the I Ching which I do recommend it's kind of a nice way to tap into wisdom and intuitive knowledge uh, also your human design and also astrology to just get to know yourself understand yourself you will understand that most of the time for most of us it calls for uh, kind of feeling the right timing and then moving forward with the timing uh, but oftentimes when we're pushing it's just ignoring that that gut feeling and not understanding that the right timing is on its way, it's, it's happening, we just have to have patience and sometimes with the right timing again we can uh, be fearful. So stepping out of the moment uh, or of the action or of the feeling of the moment and understanding the moment from through the body, the body will not lie to you, the body will tell you um, if you feel expansive towards something or contractive. So this is not, that I'm just expanding further away from working out. It's not just about working out. It's really about honoring life. It's really about are we listening and accepting and understanding and honoring the times. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the body speaks in so many ways to us and we can ignore it out of fear. If we trust in love, we'll relax with things and we'll do them at the right timing, so actually the results will be better. That comes with everything. When you, when you want to do a new project, sometimes you have to wait for the right timing. Sometimes we're impatient and sometimes we're fearful that the right timing won't come. And sometimes we just feel that we have to just do everything now and we're not honoring the process of how things happen and also we're not honoring that feeling that we get in the body so that's that's about it I will um, do another astrology talk on my second channel and I'll see you soon but honor your body thank you for joining me today and I'll see you soon Namaste